All right, guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Channel. Today we're doing a 30,000 mile owner long time review of the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax that are behind me. So stay tuned. All right, so behind me is my 2021 Chevrolet Trail Boss. I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time telling you guys what a Trail Boss is and what it isn't. Unless you're under a rock hiding somewhere, you probably know all that already, and there's plenty of other videos out there. We are gonna spend a brief moment talking about uh, how many miles it has, how old the truck is, uh, what we're using the truck for, and things like that, and then we're gonna dive right into the tire review. So with that said, we'll look at this sticker down here and as far as i know this was built in march of if i can get the focus here there it is march of 2021 at the time of filming this video it is march of 2024 although i'll probably end up on youtube a little bit later than that we're going to go ahead and fire this up and look at the mileage And we're actually a little over 30,000 miles there. You can see that there. As far as the truck use, it gets a little bit of everything. Uh, highway miles, local miles. Although I will say it's a little bit more biased on local miles because that uh, trailblazer there is the daily driver to work. So a little more biased on local. Uh, family hauler, we do haul with it. It's a standard bed instead of the short bed you see on most trucks. We do tow the boat, we tow the camper. So like I said, a little bit of everything as far as using the truck. So getting into the tire review, uh, this says, I know it's on its side, but it's a 275, 65, 18. This is the stock 18 uh, wheel that comes from uh, GM on the Trail Boss. They do have a 20 inch wheel option. We're gonna take a measurement here. It's supposed to be 32 inches tall and I think 10.8 inches wide. Uh, unfortunately and fortunately, the way tire companies measure this uh, isn't all that standardized. And uh, again, the government's not in there monkeying with things, but at the same time, depending on what manufacturer you get, the tire may be a little bigger or a little smaller. So looking at this, I'm not sure how well the camera is gonna pick this up or not, but it's really measuring about 31 and a half inches tall instead of the full 32 and again that's not unique to this tire that's pretty common with manufacturers and as far as the width uh, you have to go from sidewall to sidewall not from tread to tread so I'm going to kind of do my best to get a reasonable estimate here and that's supposed to be 10.8 and looking at it it's pretty accurate it's just under 11 inches so the width is about as advertised. All right, as we're talking about the dimensions of the tire, uh, despite my comments a few moments ago, the overall height and a little bit of the width is going to be influenced a bit by whatever wheel you have here on your vehicle. So if I'm not mistaken, I think this wheel is 18 by nine. That basically means 18 inches in diameter, nine inches deep. We measured a moment ago that this tire is almost 11 inches wide. So you got almost 11 against nine inches and basically what you end up with is this tire bulge. This is normal uh, and it's good for you know certain applications. It's also gonna help protect the wheel a little bit against uh, rocks or even a little curb rash, whatever, a little bit better versus uh, you know something that's a little bit wider. Uh, as an example, uh, if this was a, an un, kind of an uncommon size like 18 by 10, really you'd see that you know, 20 by 10 if this was a little bit wider uh, diameter. Uh, but anyway, if I had a 10 inch wide wheel against something that was almost 11 inches wide uh, on a tire, you'd have less tire bulge here and your tire would be a little taller. And then if you had something wider, let's say you had 11 or 12 inch wide wheel with something of this size, you'll have something that you call, you know, tire stretch where you're, you don't really have any bulges, it's kind of coming out to the rim. So all that influences the height of the tire and you know, just something to keep in mind as you're specking these out. Why did GM pick a 32 tall tire instead of a proper 33? 
well, I can't really defend GM, but having worked in automotive most of my career, it's really a matter of cost, it's a matter of weight, and really that magical MPG number, and that's uh, whatever their criteria and uh, calculations are, you end up with this, you know, 32 instead of a 33 tall tire. Should they put a 33 tall tire on this? Yes, but uh, those are some of the reasons why. From a tread design standpoint, it's pretty aggressive. I mean, these lugs are pretty substantial and they're meaty and the side biters are, are pretty well defined. Uh, you would expect that for something that GM is putting on what they call a trail boss. Uh, from a performance standpoint, I know these get a little bit of, of hate out there, but uh, for me, the performance has actually been really, really good. Uh, I live in this place called Wisconsin. I get all the weather and uh, snow, rain, uh, dry, a yeah, little bit of off-road gravel that I do. Um, they have actually performed very, very well. I've been really happy with that. Even with the 30,000 miles that we've worn on this tire, uh, the snowstorm we had just, you know, a few weeks ago from making this video, uh, the tires, maybe they don't perform as well as they did new, uh, but still, I was really happy with it. You know, it kept me safe going back and forth to where I needed to go uh, in the middle of that storm. Moving on to see how well the tire has worn over these 30 some thousand miles. This is my trusty tire gauge. If you don't have one of these, get one. They're, they're not expensive. I got this one on Amazon and I can leave that link below in the description. But you can get them at AutoZone or O'Reilly's, what have you. And it basically measures the useful life of your tire tread. So I've got this in here, and this is in 30 seconds, and we're between 6 and 7. If I measure another side here, let me find a side that makes some sense here. Nope, that's not a good one. Here's a good one. Some of the tire depth... Uh, between the, the uh, tread here is a little bit different. This one's pretty much right at seven. So this one's at seven. This was at six and a half over here. So, you know, we're talking like a 64th of a difference, if I'm doing that right, between the wear on this side and the wear on this side, which is pretty close. That's pretty good. Now, I will tell you that I've done a reasonable job of keeping these tires inflated. I think they're at 41 PSI, uh, at least what the door sticker says. I'm not doing it every week. I'm doing it maybe every month. The tires hold air pretty well. Uh, a little bit more often than the season changes because that's really when you need to make some adjustments. And I've also done a reasonable job of rotating the tires and the 30 some thousand miles. They've been rotated four times. So not quite the 5,000 mile interval instead of recommended, but uh, probably six or 7,000 miles. So inflated pretty well, rotated pretty well. And the output is um, you know, we're pretty close on the, on the, uh, on the wear. Now I will say as these have gotten a little older and, you know, there's a slight amount of uneven wear, uh, they have gotten a little noisier and that's not unique to these tires. That's kind of tires like this in general, but, uh, get one of these, like I said, if you don't have it and, uh, you can see how your tires are doing. So after I shot the footage on the other side of the truck, I figured, you know, let me come over here and do one more side. Getting the same kind of basic result here, but the tread depth in a few different parts is a lot deeper or a lot shallower. And I only measured the shallow portion of this on the other side. And I need to measure the, the deeper tread here because Goodyear says this comes with uh, 18, 30 seconds tread depth from new. And uh, depending on your size tire, some of them are 18, some of them are 16, what have you. And uh, I need to measure that as well. So let me go through and kind of find one here. And uh, just kind of at random. You know, this one's hanging out uh, about 12, just under 12. And then we pick uh, another side here. And this is hanging out just under 11. So a little bit of a difference. Uh, it seems to be wearing on the inside a little more on the outside here and looking at the tires on this side uh, same basic thing all four tires have a little bit of uneven wear on them all 
Now the last thing to really talk about with the tires is the road noise. If you're researching this tire, you've probably have read the comments. They are a little bit of a noisy tire. Uh, part of that is, again, the aggressive design that's on this. So that's somewhat expected. The second thing is this is a, we'll say a dated tire. It's been out for a very long time from Goodyear. I think September of 2023, they announced a new version of this tire. I don't think it's out yet at the time of making this video. But it's good and bad because it's got some age on it. It's tried and true from a performance standpoint. It's done really, really well for me. But a um, little noisy. Now, they've designed this tread pattern to try to work with itself to cancel out some of the noise. And it doesn't do that great of a job. Additionally, with the uneven tire wear that I showed you guys a, a little while ago here in a video that adds a little more noise to this as you wear the tires and oddly enough as i've rotated the tires some rotations are really noisy like really loud like like hey it's hard to have a conversation in here and some rotations like the current one it's like really really quiet like when i bought it brand new it just had a little bit of noise no big deal uh, so, you know, something to keep in mind, they are, you know, a little bit of a noisy tire and they do wear a little bit unevenly, which adds a little bit to that noise. All right. So to wrap things up, would I buy this tire again? You know, I like the appearance. Uh, the size is the size. Um, you, know, you always get a bigger one. Um, the performance has been, you know, again, in my case, fantastic. Uh, the road noise and the little bit of uneven tire wear is a little bit of a concern. So with those things said, I've gone with a Mickey Thompson Baja Boss. Now I have not used this tire yet, so I'm going to do a review on this at some point here down the road. So like and subscribe, you get to see how this comes out. Now this is a 35-1250, so a little bit different tire. I know I'm not comparing apples to apples here but you guys get the idea we're gonna do a little bit of suspension work here in a truck uh but no i did not buy these tires again and i've had like really good luck with a lot of goodyear tires over the years i've had different uh you know automobiles and trucks and cars and stuff like that uh and again maybe if i get a chance to try the new version of this tire from goodyear it may change my mind uh nothing wrong with the tire but i have decided to go with something a little bit different And by the way, here's the difference between a 35, 12 and a half, and a 32, 10.8. I got a little bit of an angle in here just so I don't roll down my driveway. But <laughs> quite a bit of difference on there. All right, guys, so there's my three year, 30,000 mile review of the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tire. We got a lot of work coming to the truck this year, so hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.